Hey guys and welcome to another video. So I have my September book haul, book mail, and um, wrap up. So I thought I'd share that with you all in one video to make it a bit easier because I'm behind on uploading all my previous unboxings. So this will be a little late. Right now it's actually October 2nd and I'm wearing this beanie because they just announced some of the cast for um, Shadow and Bone series. So I'm so excited. I really like the people that were chosen, the actors that were chosen, so I'm really excited about that. But moving on to, I'm going to do my book mail first because it's really not a lot. Um, the stuff I got is from Dreamy & Co. I purchased this stuff on their website on Etsy, I think it is. Um, so the first thing is this, um, this art print, and then on the back it has this quote on it, and I just really liked it. And then I got some magnetic bookmark and they're all Game of Thrones related but I thought they were really really cute so the first one is this Aria one let me see if I can find a spot where the light isn't like wow this is really bad here let's let's do that there we go that's Aria that is Daenerys and then Jon Snow and I just thought these were so cute and I love them so much so that's it from Dreamy and Co. And I just love their stuff. It's always adorable. And then I bought something from Etsy and a while back actually. It's really cute because they sent a little note saying thank you for purchasing. But um, this is from Etsy. It's a bookmark sleeve. But a while back I got a Luna Lovegood one and it fits my eyeglasses perfect. And that's where I keep them at night. So I thought I should have one to have on the go. And this one was really cute. It has little birds on it and stuff. But it's a lot bigger than I thought, so I just folded it. And it works perfect. So I bought that. And that's it for my book mail. And then my book haul. Um, I haven't received all the books I actually bought. So I guess the rest will be like an October haul. But for this month, I bought the whole Wayward Children um, books that are out right now. I've heard really good things about this series. Plus, they're really short, and I thought that'd be great for, like, reading goals if I have a certain amount of books I need to read. Uh, I feel like I would get through these really, really easily. So, here's the first one, Every Heart a Doorway. Second one, In an Absent Dream. Third one is the, no, Beneath the Sugar Sky. I don't know the order of these, by the way. Uh, and then the other one is Down Among the Sticks and Bones. This one looks creepy. Anyways, so... I love that they're really short, so I'm hoping to get to these soon. And then um, I bought our dark duet because I have the first one, the Savage Song, and I didn't have the second book to the duology, so I wanted to complete it. So now I have it. Yay. Um, and then I bought myself this book, The Nightingale. Um, I saw it on somebody's Instagram, and they recommended it, and it just sounded really nice. So I purchased it, and all these I got at really good prices, so I'm okay with that. And then this one I actually bought at the store at Walmart, so it was a little pricey. I think it was like $12. Um, it's, it's Sophia, Princess Among Beasts by James Patterson. I should explain, I have read James Patterson's book, um, what were they called? The one with the kids that have wings. Oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. It was a long time ago. Anyways, I really enjoyed the beginning of the stories. Um, like, I enjoyed the first two books, I think it was. And after that, I kind of didn't enjoy it as much, but I finished it anyways because I wanted to see how it would end. But um, I read, like, the first two pages of this in the store, and I liked it. So then I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot, and I got it. So those are the books I got for this month. And then my wrap-up. Okay, so for my wrap-up, um, when I was in Canada... I read, and this was last month, I read Red Rising for the first time, and I read the first book, and I got through it within like four days, I think, and it was only because I was busy visiting family, but I think I would have finished it within two days. Um, I really enjoyed the story, it was really good, um, so I gave that like a four out of five, but um, that was back in August, August, yeah, so at the end of August, beginning of September, I started a book my aunt picked out from one of those free libraries in Canada, and um, I had already run out of uh, books because I only took Red Rising, so I grabbed this one that she was reading, and um, 
she had stopped reading it, so I'm, I used to like romance novels long, long ago, um, and I thought the writing was really nice at the beginning of this story, so I thought it would be an interesting romance story. It didn't end up being a romance story, it ended up being more like a boring, um, dragged out story, and I don't know, I just, it bored me, but it was the only thing I had to read, so I read it there at the end of August and at the beginning of September on my way back home on the airport, and then I finished it when I got home, so yeah, I didn't like it, <laughs> um, that's kind of boring, um, and then while I was here, before I left to Canada, I started My Plain Jane, I read like 10 pages of it, so I count this as more of a September read than an August and September read because I had to reread it again when I got back. Um, so I read this, I enjoyed part of it, and then I kind of got bored, and then I enjoyed it a little bit more with the twists and stuff, but then I got a little bored. I don't know how to explain it. I, I think, I don't know. I gave it a 3 out of 5 because I did enjoy a lot of the parts in this story. Um, some were pretty funny, and I liked their take on it. I thought that was... A creative and different way of seeing um, Jane Eyre's story, which is one of my favorite stories, one of my favorite classics. So um, it was an okay read, but not as good as I hoped. And then I finally got around to reading Caraval. I read it in two days. Um, I could have finished it in one, but I was just too tired. But I'm surprised at uh, how fast I read this book and how interested I was in finding out what was going to happen. Um, so I really enjoyed this one. I gave it a 4 out of 5. I really, really enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, I got through it so fast and immediately started um, the second one. Uh, what is it called? Um, oh my gosh, what's the second one called? I forgot. Um, Legendary. I started reading Legendary. And um, yeah, so I finished this in two days, which was um, the last two days of September. And then so the first two days of October, I've been reading Legendary. But I'm taking it a little bit slower because I've been really busy. Um, but I think I can get through that one pretty easy too. I could have probably read it in like two days. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the series a lot. So that's my wrap up. Not much, but still really enjoyed my reading time. Honestly, I read really good books, so I'm happy. And some are okay. So um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!